Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Want to make this video on the Dragonfly Doji. Uh, this video is part of a series, uh, what we're doing for a candlesticks course. Uh, if you're not familiar with us, uh, if you head over to bullishbears.com, uh, you'll see over here we have a free course section for those that follow us. And we're going to be adding in probably a couple candlesticks courses in here. We're going to give a basic patterns course and then probably integrate in uh, an advanced patterns course as well. Uh, so these videos um, in the tutorial series are going to go into a candlesticks course. So make sure you uh, check our website, depending on when you're um, watching this video, because we'll be adding, again, candlesticks course, and candlesticks is the name of the game when trading. So we're just going to take a couple moments here just to talk about the Dragonfly Doji. A very helpful resource that we like to use is Investopedia.com. They're very awesome with just kind of breaking down things very simply. Uh, so I'm going to kind of talk to you, just read their definition of what a Dragonfly Doji is, and then I'm going to show you some real-world examples to help you um, <clears throat> locate them on a chart. So, a doji or a dragonfly doji is a type of candlestick pattern that signals indecision among traders. It's formed when the securities high, open, and closed prices are the same. The long lower shadow suggests that the forces of supply and demand are nearing a balance and that the direction of the trend may be nearing a major turning point. So, if you look at this example below, uh, again, not everything is is always going to be this way, but if you see like a candlestick falling down, then you see a dragonfly doji, it might show that the bulls are trying to come back in and have a potential reversal. Not everything always happens this way. Um, it is a very difficult pattern to find. It's not very common. Sometimes you'll see, a, you know, uh, a dragonfly uh, doji like they're showing down here. It's similar to a long-legged do long doji or a hammer candlestick. Again, we like to tell people don't get totally caught up in something has to look a, an exact way for a candlestick or a pattern. Candlesticks tell a story, but they're not always 100% right. Uh, you know, again, a dragonfly doji might work very similar to a long-legged doji or a hammer candlestick. So it's just important to kind of understand what's happening, identify the pattern within the pattern, and then see, um, you know, what's happening in the big overall big picture. So just because something might look like something, it doesn't mean, again, patterns break down all the time. So this might look like it's a reversal right here, and then, they, then it could just break down. Right, so everything in the in the real world with trading, um, <clears throat> you have to let patterns kind of um, uh, kind of form, tell you the big picture and overall story, define your risk management, but realize that patterns don't one hundred percent don't work one hundred percent of the time. It's not realistic. Uh, all even the best traders in the world fail. 30, 40% of the time. So that being said, let me show you a few real world examples of the Dragonfly Do. Let's look at Chevron, CVX. So you can see right here, price is up, kind of an uptrend, kind of rolled over, and you'll see it's fading down right here. So you can see if I zoom in right here, here's a Dragonfly Doji. Right, kind of low uh, open and close price, like right, very similar. You can see the bulls kind of coming in. Uh, you can see how it's very similar to that doji pattern right next to it. So it's similar, but that's more of a doji, or you can say long-legged doji. Uh, so again, this didn't this didn't signal uh, or this didn't stop price from falling yet. We actually there was no green candle that came in that changed direction and price faded. You can see there's very similar patterns. See, here's the dragonfly, but look, there's very similar looking candlesticks <clears throat> to that dragonfly. So they're not, you can see kind of very similar, um, but you know, again, there's, you know, this is kind of more of a thinner, you know, open close right at the same area, but just pay attention to like kind of identifying it, look at these candlesticks, see what they are, but then you have to look at the bigger overall picture and see what's happening. Again, if you're not sure how to trade and stuff like that, make sure you take our free trading courses on our website. Um, again, this is going to be a whole series on candlestick patterns, but then we have also all our free courses on teaching you how to trade as well. All right, so let's look at a few more examples here. Uh, let's go to XOM, Exxon Mobil. If you zoom in here, 
Uh, so price is going up here. You can see this is a really nice looking dragonfly doji. Um, so if you look at it in context, right, you can see a flat like a flagpole going up, and then that dragonfly was part of the flag, right? So it's part of the not necessarily a reversal, but it was kind of consolidation mode. And then this kind of it went right back to the 9 EMA and then it moved up. So again, just identify these. Uh, so it just doesn't mean like, oh, okay, potential reversal, so it's going to crash. You have to look at the pattern within the pattern and seeing what it's doing. This one right here was in an uptrend. Um, you can see some, again, it was a little overextended, needed to pull back a little bit. So you got to watch the candlesticks and see how it forms, right? So this shows, like, if you didn't see any of this over here, you'd probably you'd want to be careful because you're like, okay, well, it's a little overextended. It might want to pull back to the moving average lines. So I got to be cautious or aware of um, what might be potentially happening next. So again, it's indecision. A doji candle, uh, doji candles in general, uh, they're indecision candles. Um, <clears throat> Dragonfly, it is indecision, could be forming a potential reversal. Always have to watch the charts. HD, Home Depot, where is this one? Same kind of one up here. You can see price is going up, formed this Dragonfly Doji, and then it actually continued up and then it pulled back, right? So it had a gap up that day. Um, so again, you know, just that's what a Dragonfly Doji looks like. Uh, let's see if we can see some other similar ones on here. Um... Yeah, well, so this is kind of long-legged one right here. Um, so it's, again, the price is not towards the top. But again, be be aware of these. This is telling a story that the bulls came in and stopped it from falling any further. Obviously, the moving average lines pay a very important uh, role when trading. So you can see price started to fall, really fell. Bulls came back in, pushed it back up right here. Bulls came back in, came back in, pushed it up. Another one kind of you can say almost like a hammer or a long-legged doji. Again, same story. So just be aware and identify these patterns, but don't like don't get too caught up like, oh, is this a long is this a hammer or is this a long-legged doji or is this a dragonfly? Just be aware of what it's telling you, the story it's telling you. It's telling you the bulls are coming in and pushing price back up, right? Which doesn't mean price won't still fall further. Again, you got to watch the patterns within the patterns. Um, let's take a look at a few more examples. INTC, Intel Company. So here's a dragonfly. Price is kind of fading, you know, right here. Looks like the bulls are trying to come in and save it. Still kind of like a red dragonfly. Couldn't save it. Price still broke down. And then it kind of reversed and went up, you know, went this way. But, you know, in the downtrend, it was trying but it didn't didn't stop it um and but again dragonfly doji be aware of it um you know the emas were pinching at that time indecision when uh emas are trading sideways together um that's indecision mode and obviously it's in between the rsi over here so it's just again indecision got to look at what's happening uh within the charts nke nike <clears throat> um Here's another, actually a couple right next to each other. Price kind of came down here, trading sideways in decision mode. Uh, dojis are in decision. And you can see here, there was actually basically two Dragonfly Dojis right here. If you can look at both of those, and then price went up. So kind of price is coming down into consolidation, broke back up. So it went up for a little bit of a moment, and then kind of traded sideways again. So there's a couple uh, Dragonfly Dojis right next to each other. Um, you can see they're not really like real common on charts. You'll see more like hammers or other type of jojis. Um, dragonfly is not super common, but you will see them. Uh, and then Walmart. Let's take a look at this one. I thought I saw one on Walmart, but maybe not. I may have deleted it on Walmart. Yeah, you can see there's ones that are like similar. You can see, but that's like a, you can call that almost like a hammer. I want to show you again, like ones that are not perfect. You can see they look very similar, right? So you can see like they got they got a little bit more of a real body on them. You know, let me see a little bit more. Like these little ones here 
a little bit more of a real body, so you can call those more of maybe like a hammer or another type of doji. So again, you just got to be aware of um, what's happening. Just be getting the idea of what the pattern looks like. But again, just the candle by itself tells one story, but then the patterns within the pattern tell a whole other story. And then you got to look at the big picture. I mean, traders are creatures of a habit, and they search for these patterns really to put the trading odds in their favor. Again, patterns are not perfect. They fail all the time, but they're very important when trading.